Hello everybody and welcome to the very first episode of Banticall. So this is going to be the series that follows uh, Agrofrost. And this is a new map that just came out not too long ago. I uh, was influenced heavily by Farmer Reviews. We were talking on TeamSpeak the other day, so yeah, check out the map. And uh, so I had a look at it, and it's quite a nice map. So we're going to go ahead and play on this one. Uh, now, because we tend to go for cows a lot of time, uh, we're, tr we're trying to avoid it, but we may get to it eventually. Uh, so this time around, we're actually going to go for pigs, which are actually on this map, which is really cool. Uh, so in order to get started with pigs, let's go ahead and... Where's that tractor? Uh, we're going to go ahead and use this guy right here. Uh, this is the case... Um, what is this is a case CVX 3230. I think it has like 230 horsepower or something like that. Uh, what we're going to do is going to go ahead and just start mowing some grass here right away. Uh, so these mowers that I'm going to go pick up right away, uh, they are from the Farm Sim Main website. They were released as a. Oh, that was the right. No. Um, they were released at, at the farm. From the. Uh, oof. Words, oh my goodness, I've been hanging around with Beavis too much, I guess. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Beavis. <laughs> um, so, these were released on the Farm Sim main website, and uh, they're actually the nice thing about them is that they actually don't have a, as high power requirement as the regular ones do from in game. Although, I could easily use the in game ones uh, because this tractor is way powerful enough. These actually look pretty cool. Uh, let me just show them to you in the store. Actually, I can do it this way too. I just kept I kept the in-game equipment. Uh, here's what we have actually. Uh, so we have an AgroStar, we have a T6, uh, we have a 9230, uh, we have a Grimmy uh, Potato Harvest uh, Topper and Harvester, uh, AgroLiner, a Horse Tirano 5 meter cultivator. We have also have a plow. We have the Vaderstadt Rapid Manure Spreader, manure, uh, Slurry Spreader with a cultivator back. I picked up the, I picked up the baler. Oh my goodness! There we go, because um, that's where we had these in the last uh, series as well. Uh, we didn't have this, but I thought I'd pick it up. Um, here they are, right here. So this requires 70 horsepower on the front and 140 horsepower on the back. So the power requirement's a bit lower than uh, what it was for the other ones. So this actually has 269 horsepower, so it's a pretty powerful tractor. Um, so yeah, I just kept most of the in-game stuff. I didn't bring everything over, but we have this the. The things we had in this versus the other map were not that different, so I just went with the in-game stuff instead of fiddling around with it. Just added a few other things, so let's still take a let me just drive around the map a little bit. So this map is a um, this is actually a, a not technically it's a convert from uh, 2013, but it's a gorgeous map. I drove around it for I don't know a good half an hour the other day just looking at all the stuff. Uh, everything around it is just so so nice. I thought I wouldn't have to do this again. Oh, they even have a sound. That's awesome. I don't know if you guys can hear that. But it even had a sound. That's awesome. Uh, where are we going? We're going to Vice 3, which is where we're going to have... Uh, that's where our... Uh, that's where the grass is. So we're going to go ahead and go there and mow. But look at this. Take a look around. This is such a gorgeous map. Uh, this is this is what I want to see more of. <laughs> no matter whether it's an American map or a European or a British map, I want to see more of this. Very well put together, very well done. Um, can't get enough of it. It's uh, I uh, <laughs> as soon as I, I drove around this map, I was just like, holy cow, this is a gorgeous map. Uh, the guys who made it uh, did a fantastic job. I probably could use a not quite as powerful tractor, but oh well. Uh, they did a fantastic job. I couldn't believe how nice it was. Like, just like driving around, just looking at, just just, just looking, not even playing on the map. I was delightfully surprised. Uh, also, as you can see, there's tram lines around in areas too, which is really cool. Uh, we do own all the fields right from the start. Um, there's really no way to get around that. So, keep that in mind. Now, for this field right here. Uh, there are trees in the middle. Okay, so the funny thing is, there are trees in the middle on some of these areas, but I'm pretty sure you can drive through most of them. I think there's only a few that you can't. Oh, this one you can drive through all of them. It looks like. Um, so some of the trees you can't drive through, and some of the trees you can drive through. So I found that out, and I was kind of like, okay, whatever. 
Alright, so I don't think we're going to be able to detect the... No, I didn't think so. Uh, what we're going to do is going to drive an outline of the course. This is old school style now, then. Uh, this is going back to when course play was first released. This is the way you had to make a course for this. I don't want to... Because I have lots to do right now, I'm just going to outline a quick little course. Uh, there's the biogas facility right there. Like, how cool is that? Um, I don't know where to put some of the placeables I want to place down, though, now. I don't want to, like... It's funny, I don't want to ruin the look of the map. It's just such, such, such a nice looking map. It's crazy. So we're just going to drive around the perimeter of this particular course. I want to try and stay away from um, the ditch there, because that is a pretty. Uh, that ditch goes down quite far, and you will get stuck in it. I got stuck in it when I was driving around last time. I was just looking around the map. I was like, ah, it's not that big. And then I drove into it, and I'm like, nope, that is extremely steep. Like, from up here in the field doesn't look that bad, but once you actually get into the, f once you go into the ditch, whether on purpose or not on purpose, it is huge. It goes down quite a ways, but um, let's just look at this. It looks gorgeous. I can't believe it. I was just like when I first saw this, I was like, I'm like, how good could it actually be? And then Farmer Viewers was like, dude, you should check it out. And I did, and I, I was blown away. Really, really nice looking map. They did a really good job. I uh, I actually I, I like it better than Chris 7710's map. Uh, I don't particularly enjoy... I'm not a big British map person. That's maybe because I'm not British. Uh, well, that's one reason why, at least. Uh, but the other reason is, of course, the fact that uh, it's really cramped and I always get stuck. And that's part of the challenge and part of the reason why some people really like those types of maps, but I, I don't like it that much. Alright, so this is what... Uh, Stop. Let's save this as F. Uh, I don't know. Let's say grass. Let's say three grass outline. There we go. All right. Let's put it in a field work mode. I have no idea how wide these are. Let me just double check. I have no idea. I've had, this is the first time I've actually used them. 8.8 .8 meters. They're a bit narrower. Um, they're a bit narrower than the ones you get in games. So let's put it to 8. Point. Why do I always do that? 8.5, and we'll get these guys started, and we'll start at the northwest corner, heading south, and we will do, let's say, two headlands after the fact, generate course, I don't know where that starting point is, I don't see it anywhere, where the heck is it? This should be the northwest corner. Where on earth is it? Where is the starting point? I don't know. Let's just find out. It should be around here somewhere, unless it's just hidden. Oh, it's because the headlands. Where on earth is it? Is the northwest corner up here? It's yeah, that's where it is. It's because of the shape of the field. Okay, that's fine. I can live with that. Heading south. So it's going to start here. Okay. Uh, let's just save this course. Call it three grass mow 8.5 meters. Hopefully, let's just save real quickly here before he does that because I don't want to have to uh, do this all over again because I don't know if it's going to work with the course play or not. I don't know why it wouldn't. Ooh. That was a pretty cool little. I don't know if you guys saw that uh, that little feature, but it was pretty nifty actually. Nice. Even the grass textures are nice. Look at that. Gorgeous. All right, so let that guy do his thing. Uh, let's put him into group uh, group one. And here we have the, this is the T6, I believe. Yeah. Let's go ahead and fire this guy up here. I had to actually change my, uh, I had to actually change my controls for the parking brake with the drive control mod and that's because that other tractor that I was just in actually has um, it actually has uh, in-cab controls and all that jazz so it makes it a bit difficult to use them when you have to hit spacebar all the time okay so what, we own everything so I can start anywhere uh, field 11 field 3 those are potatoes I don't know if they're ready yet uh, let's check to see what is actually ready. I'm just playing uh, I'm playing on easy, just so it progresses a bit quicker. 
Uh, that field, field five is ready. Field 18 is ready. And five, where are we? We are right here. So let's go field five. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab our combine. Uh, this is actually not a very small map. Um, it's actually bigger than I thought it was. Uh, when I was messing around on it, I was like, it's not that big. And I'm like, no, no, it's actually pretty big. So a lot bigger than it would, would appear to be. But uh, which is nice, though, because it's a good combination of like, it's like it even though it's a big map, it doesn't feel as if it's a big map, which is nice. So. All right, we are going for up here. So as you can see, uh, this map's got a little bit of everything. Here's the uh, the silage clamp right there, which is pretty darn cool. What's that? Uh, is there an exit here? I can't remember. I don't think so. No. I have to remember where things are. The one thing I I don't like is the uh, having to open up all the gates manually, but. Um, that's just the way it is. Uh, this right here is, I believe, your storage point for straw. And you have some buildings in there you can drive into for storage of your equipment and whatnot. Where's the exit? Am I going around in circles again? Yes, you're going around in circles again. Um, yeah, but they actually did a really nice job. Where on earth is the exit? This is why I use GPS in real life. Jeez. Um, but really nice looking map. They did it, like just even the yard itself is really nice looking. Oh, there's the exit. Did I just really drive right past it? Wow, I did. Oh, that's funny. All right, let's get in here properly. All right, so let's go ahead and open up these gates. I don't know if you guys can hear that. How cool is that? It's even got a nice, you know, nice metallic grinding type sound. Which is fantastic. All right, let's go in cab here. Uh, so some of the, the the trees that are actually on the field are the ones that are you can drive through. A lot of them, not all of them, but some of them. Uh, there are other ones though that you cannot. So I have to be careful about that. All right, and let's just turn around here. That's not a ditch, so we're okay. Uh, that's potatoes. Actually, when you ever, if you ever see potatoes grown in real life, that's actually the way that they are planted a lot of the time. Uh, not everywhere, mind you. Like for example, my in-laws don't do, but don't, uh, don't, um, you know what? <laughs> oh gosh, they don't plant their potatoes like that. But often you see that because the equipment you use for potatoes is so huge that you need the extra headland at the end. Like the fact that the guy prepared the map like this is amazing. Like, <laughs> like that blew me away. I was like, whoa, that's crazy. Yeah. So often this is the way you see potatoes planted in some areas. All right, he's doing a good job. Man, I love that texture, that's so cool. All right, so we're gonna have, uh, what do I want, how much, that's only got 140 horsepower. I really should, I don't have any other tractors that are powerful enough to do what I wanted them to do. Ah, uh, we can't harvest potatoes anyways. Uh, what else do we have ready? We don't have anything that's really ready. So, we're getting the, do we not have a, we don't have a rake, really? I just realized that. Yeah, we don't have a rake. Okay, let's pick up one of those. Uh, let's not get a huge rake this time, shall we? Um, uh, that's 8 meters. That's 12. That's 19. I think maybe I'll go for, uh, let's just take a quick peek again at the map. Uh, we don't have that. We have, uh, up by the sheep, there's, uh, if you look at the top left-hand corner, that's another grass field there. And just to the east of that grass field, white is called Lice 2. That's another one we have. But that's the only grass fields we have. Yeah, let's go with a small one. Because uh, that's going to make our lives a bit easier. Okay, good. And we're going to need a tether as well. As you can see, I just gave myself a little bit of extra money just so we can get started here. Let's just use the smallest one. If we want to upgrade, we can always do that later on. Perfect. All right, beauty. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to get that combine started, but I think if I go over to the combine, uh, which is right here, let's put him in group two, the de facto combine group. Um, if you can see, um, this is the texture for the barley. Like They did a really cool job. So as you can see, right in the middle of this field right here, or on this field right here, 
Some of these trees you can run, you can drive through, some of them you cannot. So this one, I can't run through, but these ones I can. So what I might come in and do maybe off camera is take down some of these trees. Uh, not because I don't like them, just because I don't want to have to deal with vehicles getting stuck. Otherwise, I think that's the only, yeah, other than that little, those two trees in there, I think that's the only place where uh, you can really run into problems, so I'll leave that alone. So what I think I'll do is let's hop into, uh, let's, doesn't really make a difference. Uh, let's grab a weight uh, because they're chilling out right there. Just itching to be used. Okay, good. Put it this way. Alright, let's grab a weight. Uh, we're not going to put any weight on it. I just want... We have three tractors, three weights, so... We're just going to go ahead and hook up, like so. I'm going to grab a quick sip of coffee. I've been talking so much, I haven't, even, haven't had any coffee yet. Oh yeah, good stuff. And strong coffee, too. Alright, uh, let's get... Uh, this guy right here. Let's get him on the aggro liner. And let's try and get hooked up without uh, colliding with anything. Nope. No dice. Alright, this time, second time. Yeah, I thought we were good that time, but I guess not. Oh, oh no, good. Whew. That was one of those high hitch scenarios where I wasn't going to be able to use it. All right, so let me just show you where you actually drop off the grain. Uh, so here is a nice little area. This would be good for our bales if we were going there. But we're going to be using, um, see where field 17 is just below? That says Sreinjut. Uh, that's where we're going to be storing some of our, our stuff. Uh, I have to remember where the point is now. I think it's in here. No. Where in the heck is it? <laughs> Parking. Uh, where in the heck is it? Maybe it's this building over here. Yeah, here it is. All right, so here's the storage point right over here. There's the fuel point. So here we have Gerstenweizen, so that's wheat and barley. Let's open that up there. Even those have that sound. So uh, you would walk in here and there's some wheat and no I, I can't even tell which one's which I think that's wheat that's barley it's not it's not that easy for me to tell and here's the other end of course so we're gonna open up this end as well like so and uh, as you saw probably where were they there are some silos around here you can use as well and also on this map FYI uh, you have to make, well, so you have, this is just fertilizer, uh, that's seeds, and this is l lime. So you can actually, this has the, the mod that uses all those. So let's go ahead and close those, actually. I don't know if people ever noticed that, but check that out. How cool is that? Cover that map, because we don't need that. We want to keep those nice and dry. There we go. Close that one up, and close this one up. Cool. Now where the heck do those go off to? I don't remember. Uh, let's put this guy in group three, I guess. Here we go. I think it's all our tractors now. All right, so we are going to go to this guy up here. And I think what we're going to do is going to set up the harvester, or I will harvest, or one way or another. Uh, are we actually in this field? Yeah, where's our combine? Our combine's way over there. Haha. <laughs> All right, so we'll set up like this. Let me just turn around then. Actually, we'll start from the middle of the field, and then I'll record the course. Um, but the funny thing is, don't need to go that fast. The funny thing is, I should probably. Uh, I'm going to have to be careful on this map because there are some areas where uh, that aren't really designed for larger equipment, so. I'll really have to be careful as to what equipment I choose to use, although I have a lot of equipment already, so. Pretty sure I can just drive straight through here. Yeah, thought so. Alright, so we are looking for. Not that. I have to be careful and drive slowly. Where is it? Um. That's that, that's that. Oh, here we are. 
Oh, that's lined up perfectly then. Alright, let's go in cab. Take a nice little turn here. Let's lower that down a little bit. And let's bring out the information. Oh, that's horrible. Okay, I need to be closer. Okay. See, that's why that stuff was helpful. Alright, so drive right along here, right along here. And that's for wheat and barley, but not for canola. Uh, I think there's another building for that, believe it or not. Uh, so let's just turn around here now. And not too much. And we'll drive past this. This is the one weird thing that I'm not used to that. Uh... Oh, did we not get close enough to that? I guess we didn't. Oh well. Uh, there's that building. I believe there's another building for canola. And other stuff. I don't know where it is though. Let's turn around here. Got distracted there. Yeah, it's such a beautiful map. Um, I can't. They did a really nice job, as I've mentioned more than once now, gushing over the map, so to speak. All right, unpause. There we go. And let's head back out there. So. Uh, there's no like, it's, I don't think they have any kind of central area for grain storage. It's not like uh, a lot of American maps that have the silos. Although they do have silos, they just totally lost where they are. So this is like, this is considered the main farm that we're working on right now. What is this, F5? F5, unload. Perfect. Yeah, this is considered like the main farm here. Uh, I'll set up to automatic because this is going to drive the course. <clears throat> So let's detach that, unfold, and turn around here. So the, I actually may have to do some of the harvesting only because if I don't, we're going to run into things. So that may be the case. Okay, I guess we're running through that now. Uh, that may be the case on this map. Get it? Maybe the case. I'm in a case combine. That's a terrible joke. I'm sorry. You know what they say, you know, don't quit your day job. All right, so let's go ahead and fold that up, and let's. This guy's waiting here. I just want to see something real quickly. Um, I guess it doesn't matter. Now I wish I, I kind of wish I had bought the bigger rake for this field. <laughs> just looking at it, I guess it really doesn't doesn't make a difference. Um, I don't even know how to start in this field. I uh, will do this, I guess. I don't know how it's going to count. Let's just see what happens. Yeah, it's going to go around the outside, and it's going to go right through the middle of that. Okay. Hmm. This is field five, I said. Yes, perfect. So let's go ahead and add that to that. Set it to this, this, and that. Take it down one notch. This is field five, starting from the southwest corner, heading north. And we'll do, I don't know, two headlands, and we'll do them first. Generate. Perfect. Let's call this F5 combi. Perfect. I have no idea where that first point is. Let's go find it. Um, <clears throat> there's a particular reason why I want to use course play um, for harvesting, and that reason is because when they come back around and want to pick up the bales, I may want to switch to square bales only because I just... I, I'm just looking at it, I'm like, man, that's a big field. So, we'll see how it goes. I don't know where the starting point is. It's somewhere around here. I don't want to start it up now, because if I start it up now, what's going to happen is he is going to uh, start combining right away. Uh, the cool thing is, look, the person even went to the, to the difficulty of putting tram lines in and everything right off the bat. Like, how cool is that? Where the heck is the starting point from? Oh, it's right over here. But like, how cool is that? Like, they did a really, I still can't believe this map. Like, they did a fantastic job. All right, so let's set this to the first waypoint. That's going to be an atrocious turn. I know it. Okay, maybe he wouldn't have started combining right away. Uh, do we want straw? We kind of need straw. Uh, okay, good. It's going to drop straw anyways. Ah, whatever. Not too worried about it. Uh, so that is the barley texture there. This is what the canola looks like. This is early stage canola. 
pretty darn cool. Uh, let's. This guy's still working away there. So is this guy. So let's go take a quick little jaunt around here. Just want to find the find the silos because I'm pretty sure there's another way. There's another place to store grains. And if that tipper point is any kind of indication, maybe it's over there. But um, yeah, it is a pretty nice looking map. Uh, they did a. <laughs> I can't, I can't believe like I, we haven't even, I haven't even shown you the uh, I haven't even shown you the pig area yet, but it's really really nice. I could have gone this way too, I suppose. Let's open the gate here. Open sesame. There we go. Uh, is it over here? What the heck? Oh, that's an old scale. Ha! Huh, that's cool. Uh, that's just a shop, I think. Uh, that's a little area where you can load stuff into it, which is really neat. Where on earth did I see those silos? I, did, I know I saw them. But they are around here somewhere. Let's just say that. Anyways, folks, I think we'll leave it there for the very first episode. What we'll do is we'll come back next episode. And, uh... And we will continue on our way. But these, uh, this is the reason why I got a big combine, because... While you look here, it doesn't look super, super big. It's actually quite a large map. And, uh... It uh, was going to make our lives really interesting had we not chosen a larger combine. But yeah, look at that. Nice, gorgeous. Ah. Anyways, folks, my name is Ian Rops. This has been Farm the Simmer 2015, coming at you from Bandicow. Catch you guys later.